Okay, if you at this video, if you made it to this video, I got dust in my nose. You're here because you're trying to figure out what's the best way to remove um, thin set from a floor that you took tile up from. So <clears throat> on, the, on YouTube, on the internet, everybody's saying that you would need or the best way to go about doing it is to use a jackhammer with a thin set blade on it. And I tried using that and I've chipped away at the thin set for like five or six days. Days. I had all of this to do. Including that hallway, including that laundry room. So that method works, but it takes forever to get it done. And um, if you're renting that blade or a um, jackhammer, it's going to cost you a lot to do the job or to get the job done. So what I found. The easiest way to do it, and the best way to do it, is to get you one of these from a Home Depot. It's a concrete grinder. What it does is, it grinds the thing set up way faster than using that chipping hammer. I mean, you can use that chipping hammer and the thin set blade for like little small areas um, where the machine won't reach, but that machine does it like 10 times faster and it's a lot less stress on your arms, wrist, and back. Cause um, you could rent that bigger one with the thin set blade on it, a bigger jack jackhammer from Home Depot. Even with that, it's still difficult to use and it hurts your back. And it takes a long time to get the thin set up. So with this, I was able to get this smooth. See, everything is pretty much smooth. You know, and it only took me about two hours to do it. Before, it was taking me like two hours just to do a smaller area with the chipping hammer and that thin set blade, so. And how this machine works, you got a diamond disc at the bottom of it. You hook it up to a shop vac. You need you a good shop vac. With a bag in it and a HEPA filter because it's gonna make a lot of dust and you don't wanna breathe this concrete silica dust in because it's bad for your respiratory system. And you're gonna need your respirator and um, maybe some ear cans for the noise, but this is the way to go. Don't, don't try to do your whole project with that little blade and that chipping hammer because it's gonna take you forever. But if you're doing like a small bathroom or something like that and it's coming up easy, it's cool. You could probably you get away with the blade and the chipping hammer, but if you're doing a big house, a big area, you need to go ahead and get this um, from Home Depot. From Home Depot. Um, the machine, the cost to rent it is like $2.15 per day. So, I don't know how much it costs at your Home Depot, but it's kind of expensive to rent. So you want to get it for one day so you can make sure that you get the job done. But that is the way to go. Don't try to do the whole entire big job with just that blade, okay? So, that's what it is. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube, everybody talking about get that, that uh, thin set blade with a chip and hammer, but that's the hard way, that's the long way, and you don't even get that much of a good result because you'll keep on digging into the concrete as you're trying to take up the thin set. But with that machine, it smooths everything out and I recommend it, and this is the best way to go. So forget all the other videos you watch, go and get that machine. You know what I'm saying? I wasted like $400 on getting the chipping hammer, renting the blade, coming, doing it. It took forever, so I had to rent the keep the machine for an extra day. So it's not worth it if you're renting it. But, um. As you can see, pretty much stripped of all of the thin set that was on the floor. So, I also purchased this Milwaukee jackhammer because I was tired of renting the jackhammer. By the time I kept renting, 
Um, I could have purchased me another, uh, purchased a jackhammer. <laughs> so I, that's why I purchased this jackhammer. And um, I'm probably going to purchase a thin set blade just in case I get another job like this. But this is good for like the little small areas like up underneath the countertop, up underneath that um, dryer vent in the corners. You can use that little blade for that, but you don't want to use this to do the entire project. It's going to kill you. So make sure you share, like, and subscribe. I'm going to have a whole lot of more remodel and renovation videos showing you guys what tools work best. You know what I'm saying? Giving my honest review on everything. So this is Tarot Toolbox. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Make sure you pay attention to what's going on because it's going on. And I'm out.